All righty. Okay, uh, hello everyone and welcome to the Rainforest XPRIZE introduction webinar. My name is David Locke and I'm the executive director of the competition here at XPRIZE. Uh, myself and the uh, rest of the Rainforest XPRIZE team are attending from our respective uh, home offices and we want to thank you all for joining us today. Uh, I'll be moderating today's webinar and we'll be joined by other members of the Rainforest XPRIZE team to walk you through some of the exciting competition updates and information we have to share with you all today. Uh, to date, uh, we've reached interest from teams across the globe who are interested in participating in or supporting the competition in some, in some manner. And we felt it was important to begin engaging directly with this growing community. So expect this to be the first of several informational webinars that we plan to host as the competition progresses. Uh, ultimately, it will be the efforts of our competing teams and partners and, and this community that will make this competition a success. So once again, thank you uh, for joining and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, um, just a few ground rules uh, for today's uh, webinar. Um, you'll notice that your phone line uh, has been muted, so you'll just be hearing the voices today uh, of the XPRIZE team. However, if you do have questions during our presentations, please go ahead and use the uh, uh, question and answer, answer tool that's, that's built here in, into Zoom. So you should all be able to see that Q&A tab. You can go ahead and uh, submit a question, and um, we're going to conduct a Q&A session at the conclusion of today's webinar. So. Um, I think we're expecting today's webinar to last for about an hour and uh, 15 minutes of that will be dedicated to a Q&A at the end. So um, please go ahead and submit your questions. We might not be able to get to or be able to answer all those questions today, but we will follow up uh, with a, with a Q&A doc uh, afterwards. So uh, please look out for that as well. Um, okay, here, um, please note that this webinar is also being recorded, which is great. Uh, we can share and distribute it after the fact. So either if you have to jump off or you want to review it later or you want to share it, we'll go ahead and make this uh, public so that you can go ahead and do so. Um, and also, of course, if you have any questions uh, at, the, at the end of today's webinar that we weren't able to get to, uh, you can always email us at rainforest at xprize.org. Again, that's rainforest at xprize. Dot org. Okay, here, uh, and just a, a, another note here on, on using this Q&A tool, you'll notice here in this screenshot, it's, it's pointing directly at where that Q&A button is. So you should see that at the bottom of your Zoom window. Um, and again, we're going to try to get to as many questions as, as we can today. But please be patient with us. We've packed as much information as, as we could into the front end of today's webinar. So, um, you know, there's a good chance we're going to get to your question at some point, but certainly in the Q&A. Okay, uh, and with that, and now it's my pleasure to introduce you to the uh, full Rainforest XPRIZE team. As mentioned earlier, my name is David Locke, and I'm excited to be uh, here with you all today. Also joining me is the competition prize manager, John Greisberger, and uh, uh, our project relations specialist, Allison Clower. Welcome, John and Allison. Happy to have you here with us. Uh, and, rounding out, and rounding out our team, we have our technical lead, Peter Houlihan. Uh, as well as our technical consultant, Shaw Shelby, uh, Selby, excuse me. Uh, many of you might be familiar with, with Peter and, and Shaw. They've been in the industry for years, and uh, uh, I, I know that they were able to invite many of their colleagues, etc. so we welcome you all. Uh, it's important to note that these are just some of the many faces contributing uh, from XPRIZE, and that there are many others behind the scenes in various departments and various capacities helping us uh, make this competition a success and you'll definitely have the opportunity to, to meet many of those uh, amazing individuals uh, during future webinars. Uh, also, uh, and you'll hear here a, a few times today, it's important to note that we are also in the process of recruiting uh, an impartial competition uh, advisory and judging panel to help guide our operations team and ensure our competition objectives and goals are met. So expect some very uh, exciting announcements uh, on this in, in the coming weeks. We've been talking to some incredible individuals that are going to join in those capacities, and I think everybody's going to be really excited about that. Um, all righty, so let's go ahead and move forward to today's uh, agenda. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and introduce uh, XPRIZE, both our, our history and our mission, before turning things over to our technical lead, Peter Houlihan, 
who's going to go into more detail uh, about the competition uh, details. And then we'll be turning things over to John to discuss the competition uh, timeline. We're also going to delve into the guidelines this morning. Uh, Allison's going to walk us through the team registration process. Um, we're also going to touch on the qualifying submission as well as semifinals and finals testing. And then I'll recap with just a quick looking ahead, sort of what our roadmap looks like for the next few months, followed by uh, a Q&A &A, Q &A for approximately 15 minutes. So again, we're looking at about an hour today. Uh, we're gonna do our best to stay on schedule, but I think a lot of that's gonna be depend on how many, uh, how many questions are submitted. So um, with that, I think that covers everything. Let's go ahead and uh, get started. So uh, some of you may be wondering uh, what exactly is XPRIZE. I'm sure there are, there are individuals on here that are, 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 are very familiar with some of the work that we've done and some of you are completely new and that's totally okay. Uh, so XPRIZE's mission is to inspire and empower problem solvers from around the world to positively impact our world. Uh, in order to accomplish that, uh, we devote ourselves to defining the problems setting the targets and then leveraging large scale incentive prize competitions to generate solutions to the world's biggest challenges. We believe that solutions to the world's problems can come from anyone, anywhere, and that includes everyone joining us today. Uh, it's important to note that the uh, idea behind XPRIZE and the incentivized comp uh, competition is not unique to us. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the, the incentive prize competition has existed for centuries, uh, starting with the Longitude Prize in 1714, as well as the 1919 $25,000 Ortiz Prize that compelled Charles Lindbergh, uh, seen here in this photo, uh, to fly across the Atlantic, uh, thereby, thereby giving birth to the commercial aviation industry as we know it today. So, uh, you know, it's important to note that prizes have ignited passions for centuries, and you know, it's really an outlet to challenge innovators to take those risks, to try to go and tackle those problems that you know, government and other entities haven't been able to do so, uh, so far. So uh, it's, 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 a, it's a format that works. And we've seen that um, you know, with Charles Lindbergh's uh, incredible achievement in mind and a lifelong uh, dream to go into space uh, our CEO and founder, X, uh, XPRIZE founder, Peter, Peter Diamandis, created the Ansari XPRIZE in 1996. Uh, the goal here was to make space more affordable and accessible, uh, you know, for, for somebody like Peter who wanted to go to space, but maybe couldn't just due to physical limitations or, or time restrictions, etc. So he created this prize and offered $10 million to the first team that could create a reliable, privately financed manned space uh, ship that could fly into space twice within a two week period of time. Uh, much like the Lindbergh Prize and the Longitude Prize, when he launched it, people thought he, he was crazy, uh, didn't think it would be possible. Um, and, and sure enough, just like the other two prizes in two 2004, this dream became a reality and Spaceship One, pictured here, uh, was the winning vehicle to accomplish that goal. Uh, some of you may be familiar, but Sir Richard Branson actually went on to go ahead and purchase this, this technology, and uh, it, it's what we know of uh, today as Virgin Galactic. So some of you might be familiar with Virgin Galactic. If you're not, I suggest checking it out. It's a, it's a really cool technology, and it gave birth out of this uh, Ansari X Prize. Okay, fast forward 20, 25 years since launching the first X Prize. And uh, we, we have gone on to launch 14 prizes and counting in the fields of space, oceans, education, environment, robotics, AI, safety, automotive, and the list goes on and on. Uh, we've put about $165 million uh, worth of prizes out on the market. Uh, we've awarded 14 prizes to date. And uh, we currently have five active competitions that we're promoting for a total prize purse of $75 million. So, uh, you know, we're highly active over here. And you can also see this in the fact that we're currently developing prizes with, in, the, in the range of about $300 million. So uh, after 25 years, we think we've got this formula down and we're really, really excited to, to apply it here to our 
Rainforest X Prize competition. Okay, so moving forward, now that we've covered our past, I'd like to move into the present and talk about our latest X Prize competition, the $10 million Rainforest X Prize. And I'm gonna go ahead and invite my colleague, Peter Houlihan, to, to step in and help, uh, help uh, walk you through, these, uh, through this phase of the competition. So Peter, please go ahead. Thanks, David, and welcome to everybody out there. Um, we're all aware that rainforests are important. In fact, they're critical to our planet and to the survival of our species. Yet, while we're familiar with rainforest teeming biodiversity, we've also seen the news of their decline over the decades, and many of us have experienced that firsthand. Having worked in the field of rainforest conservation, um, it's, it's often so doom and gloom, and that's certainly for good reason. But what can we do? How can we move towards novel solutions? How can we motivate diverse interdisciplinary teams and approaches that shift this field forward? Um, personally, specializing in assembling and leading teams of local experts on expeditions in the tropical rainforest around the world for conservation, there are often several underlying factors that have always inhibited the collection and analysis of data to inform environmental preservation, policy, and action. And that comes as no surprise, time and money, as with anything. And so if we could incentivize innovators to devise novel technologies that revolutionize the assessment and analysis of data, condensing the months or years of fieldwork and years of analysis into real time, we could urgently address more of the conservation issues of today. That's what the Rainforest X Prize is all about and why you should be involved. Max, could we advance uh, just a little bit? And just to reiterate, oh, that's all because um, rainforests are the most diverse, complex, and imperiled terrestrial ecosystems on Earth. All right, Max, let's advance that one more. Through embarking on this five-year competition, we envision a number of core goals and objectives that will advance the field of rainforest conservation in the process. Solutions to the Rainforest X Prize will revolutionize the field of rainforest conservation through innovating novel technologies that can rapidly and remotely survey rainforest biodiversity. Technologies created will improve survey speed, autonomous operations, documentation of multiple stories of the rainforest, innovative detect detection methodologies, and rapid data integration. Empowering local communities, including their immerse, immense knowledge and voices in valued, informed, and credited approaches towards solutions that ultimately benefit those who are most closely connected to these forests and suffer greatly with their loss. Insights will be developed from the Rainforest X Prize that interpret data in real time and in unprecedented detail towards action that promotes the health and conservation of this vital ecosystem. Understanding will support the sustainable use and well-being of standing forests, leading to new advancements in science, technology, innovation, and to just and sustainable bioeconomies. Inspiring a movement, shifting from short-term economic-driven perspectives to a balanced conservation-oriented perspective driven by the fair and sustainable use of forest-based products, and ultimately scaling this impact beyond the competition and into the future to ensure that your novel solutions and insights are effectively implemented and applied across local, regional, and global levels. With all of this in mind about what we aim to accomplish towards addressing certain challenges that the rainforests face, um, you probably wanna know how you can actually win this competition. Teams will be integra integrating sophisticated technologies such as robotics, remote sensing, artificial intelligence, and mach machine learning to develop tools to survey rainforest biodiversity in very demanding environmental conditions. So the winning team will develop novel technologies that rapidly and comprehensively survey rainforest biodiversity and use those data to deliver new insights that promote the health and conservation of rainforests globally. Teams will have a limited period of time to explore an area of rainforest and produce a biodiversity assessment of the rainforest and insights from integrating multiple sources of data to 
to document the value of standing rainforests. These insights, as we'll describe throughout the competition, can take many different forms, um, ultimately with the objective of translating biodiversity data into action. So teams can come from anywhere, um, startups, universities, conservation organizations and NGOs, small to mid-sized companies, high school students, local communities, families, or even individuals. You're all welcome to join. The, you can all form uh, teams um, with various scientific and technological backgrounds and disciplines, including robotics, VR, AI, biodiversity, ecology, remote sensing, or big data. In fact, teams will likely incorporate many of these interdisciplinary components and members with these expertise. And we hope to encourage teams from local communities to join as well. Um, and we are excited about those who have already done so. Teams will be required to involve local constituents, including members from indigenous or local communities, or individuals, organizations, or academic institutions from areas that contain tropical rainforests. So whatever your background or discipline, we want you to develop novel technologies to rapidly catalog diverse forms of life in the rainforest and enhance the knowledge of these complex ecosystems for conservation. And with all of that, we'll now hear from John, our prize manager with a detailed timeline of the competition. Hello everyone. I'm now going to touch upon key dates and milestones that will take place over the course of the competition. We'll be going over some of these items in greater detail later in the presentation. So for now, it will just be a high level overview. And as Peter mentioned previously, the Rainforest X Prize is a five year competition and it launched in November of last year. And after receiving some great feedback from the public on the first version of the guidelines, the team made some important adjustments and released version two in April of this year. And this document provides an important overview of the competition, as well as outlines general requirements. And you can all find this document on the XPRIZE Rainforest website. Another key document pertaining to the competition are the rules and regulations. And this is an important document for registered teams as it details testing protocols for the competition, lays out specific rules, dates, and times, and other key pieces of information that will govern the competition. This document is created in consultation with our independent judging panel of experts and may be updated over the course of the competition. Uh, Max, could you go back to the timeline slide, please? Uh, the next important milestone on our prize timeline is March 15th of 2021. And this is when registration for the competition closes. In the second quarter of 2021, we hope to be in a place where we can travel and have an in-person team summit. And this event is an important opportunity uh, to meet your, your fellow competing teams, to meet the Rainforest X Prize team, as well as our judging panel. Uh, shortly after the team summit, the next important milestone is the qualifying submission deadline. The deadline for teams to submit is May 13th, 2021. And here teams will submit documentation on X Prize's prize operation platform that outlines their approach to the competition. Up to 50 teams will be selected by our judging panel to move on to the semifinal phase. In Q2 of 2022, teams will submit verification of their progress, which will likely include a video demonstration along with written documentation. The judging panel will then convene and select up to 25 teams to move on to semifinal testing. In early 2023, XPRIZE will undertake semifinal testing in a yet to be determined location. The selected teams will be required to travel with their technologies to the testing location where they will be put to the test in real world conditions. Following testing, the judges will deliberate and select up to 10 teams to move on to finals. Final testing will take place in the second half of 2024. The top teams will travel with their technology to a tropical rainforest in a new geographic location to try and meet and exceed the judging criteria in the final round of the competition. 
Shortly after finals testing, the judging panel will announce the first, second, and third place winners, as well as the winner of the bonus prize at an award ceremony. Next slide, please. Uh, some of you may already be aware, uh, but you are excited to let you know that the early registration fee has been reduced from $1,000 to $500. Some benefits of early registration include access to team-only webinars with the Rainforest team, as well as access to additional resources that will support you in developing and creating your technology. In the coming weeks, we'll also be announcing some exciting partnerships that we are in the process of formalizing. The fee for regular registration has been reduced as well. It is now $1,000 and regular registration closes on March 15th of next year. As you can see, there are many benefits to competing in an XPRIZE competition and I'll highlight a few of them. An important component of every XPRIZE competition is a verification of technology. Each prize works with a judging panel of experts to review, test, and verify technology. Progressing in the competition and having your technology verified and validated by an independent group of experts can help teams take the necessary steps to get their technology to market. Another benefit to, providing, to participating in an XPRIZE competition is access to state-of-the-art testing facilities and field trials that teams might not have access to otherwise. As an example, two state-of-the-art testing facilities valued at $2 million, $20 million each were created in the US and Canada for the Carbon X Prize. And field trials, including more than 3,000 children in rural Tanzania, were made available so that teams could test their software using tablets in the Global Learning X Prize competition. XPRIZE competitions are also known to create new industries and expand existing ones, providing opportunities to more than just the grand prize winners. XPRIZE has been widely credited with catalyzing the multi-billion dollar commercial space industry through the $10 million Ansari XPRIZE and other space-related competitions. The last benefit I'll highlight is media exposure. At XPRIZE, we maximize media opportunities to highlight bold new ventures and the incredible accomplishments of our competing teams. This gives teams an opportunity to raise their profiles of new sponsors to new sponsors and communities alike. Our competitions are regularly covered in leading publications like the New York Times, CNN, CNBC, Fortune, and TechCrunch, among many others. I'll now kick it over to Peter, who will highlight some of the key aspects of the competition guidelines for you. Thank you, John. So as we move forward throughout this webinar and throughout the prize, always know that all of the information that you're seeing uh, today and later on can be found on the Rainforest X Prize website, rainforest.xprize.org. Um, specifically here, you can find our most up-to-date competition guidelines of which we will be providing an overview and you also notice that this is where you can start a team as well. So a very important landing page. As we progress through the competition, this is also where you'll see continued updates, um, including our rules and regulations later on. And for those of you who have been following the Rainforest X Prize since the launch in November of last year, um, you'll also find uh, these are our updated guidelines that were released on Earth Day of 2020. Um, as David mentioned earlier in the webinar, uh, in introducing our team, we will be relying pretty heavily on a deep and valued expertise of our advisory board and judging panel in shaping, guiding, and also judging this competition. And I wanted to just reiterate and mention this important component of our larger team, again, now to provide more context for you as we move forward through the guidelines. XPRIZE will appoint a panel of topical experts and big picture thought leaders to serve as the advisory board for the competition. The advisory board will remain in place throughout the competition to advise XPRIZE regarding the scientific and other elements of the competition. Um, we will also be selecting a judging panel. And that's uh, in the works and uh, we'll be working on that throughout the summer. 
who are subject matter and technical experts who serve as impartial and independent evaluation team for all the aspects of the prize. Judges score the team submissions and make the final award determinations in both the semifinals and the final competitions. Um, and with that all in mind, the competition guidelines on our website and what we'll go through a bit here in the webinar provide an overview of the Rainforest X Prize and detail how the various rounds will be tested and evaluated. These general testing criteria are what you want to have in mind and plan for in developing your submissions and solutions. The testing will take place in the field in rainforests around the world. For the semifinal and final rounds, we will announce these testing locations uh, at a later date, but with enough advance notice for teams to be able to prepare accordingly. In the first of these field tests, the semifinals, teams will have six hours to deploy their solutions, documenting the understory and an additional layer of the rainforest. And then teams will have 24 hours beyond this to process and analyze the, their data. In the final round, teams will compete at a possibly a different location, um, but in a rainforest. And this will be for a period of eight hours, surveying more than three stories of the rainforest to document more biodiversity with increased accuracy and to be processed in 48 hours following the data collection. This time teams will be required to identify and develop new insights based on data collected. As we've mentioned and alluded to these insights earlier, um, they can come in many different forms and we'll provide as an operations team, we'll provide some guidance and general direction in order to translate the data and species richness into effective conservation action for rainforests. Um, the total prize purse for the Rainforest X Prize is $10 million. And how that breaks down is there will be a grand prize of $5 million, followed by a second place at $2 million and third place at half a million. Throughout the competition, there will also be milestone prizes to inject some funds into teams as they continue to make it through successfully. A milestone prize of 250,000 will be shared equally between up to 25 semifinalists and semifinals, a semifinals prize of 2 million will be shared equally between up to 10 finalists. Um, Ultimately, in addition to the top three places in the finals of the competition, an additional bonus prize may be awarded at the discretion of the judges to one or more teams making additional advancements to the field that go above and beyond. Um, and with that, uh, we have the makeup for our $10 million Rainforest X Prize. Um, and I'm going to hand it over to Allison our specialist on team registration process. Great, thank you, Peter. Yeah, so I just wanna spend a little bit of time going over our team registration process with you guys. Um, so there are three steps um, in order to make you eligible to compete in the competition. And these are the three steps for finalizing your team registration. Uh, so the first step is to create or join a team at pop.xprize.org. And I'll talk about what pop is in just a little bit. Step two is going to be to complete the registration submission form through POP. And then the third step is going to be to sign the competitor's agreement and pay the registration fee. And I'll talk about how to do that in just a moment as well. All right, so what is POP? That's our prize operations platform. Uh, so to register for the competition, that is the platform we use. So if you go to rainforest.xprize.org, You'll see on our main page there, there's a little pink button that says start a team. Once you click on that, it's going to scroll a little bit farther and talk about how to register. You will want to click on that pink button that says register. Once you do that, that'll take you to the pop platform. Um, if you'll go to the next page, Matt. So once you click on that, you'll see this pop up. It'll ask for your email and password. If you've never used the POP platform, you just wanna make sure you go and click register there. It'll ask you to create a user login, which can be your email as well as a password. Then you'll get a pop up that shows um, that the registration email has been sent. So after that, you wanna check your email. You'll get an email from XPRIZE um, and you'll see right here, I have highlighted uh, circled in purple, confirm your account. You wanna click on that to create your profile and that's step two of the process to completing team registration. 
Um, so once you complete your profile, um, once you're on POP and you have a profile, to pay the registration fee, you're gonna go to the activities tab. Uh, and you'll see right now, as we mentioned, we are in early registration until October 15th of this year. And it's a $500 fee that is per team. To pay the registration fee, you're gonna go over to the column that says action and click start. And you'll go through that process to submit your um, registration. All right, um, so I just wanted to show you guys how many interested teams we have thus far in the competition. Um, as you can see from the map here, we have teams from all over the world. And I just wanted to show this because I think there's a lot of people that are passionate about rainforest. Maybe you're an individual that is interested in competing in the competition, but you don't have a team. As you can see here, we have people interested from all over the world. So you can use the POP platform to go in there and see if there's someone close to you and if you're interested in joining their team. Um, and if we go to the next slide, this will just give a further breakdown of the team. So as you guys can see, all the countries here, um, we have several people interested in, from Brazil, also India, the United States. But as you can see, we have um, many other countries where teams are already interested. Um, and as of right now, we're up to 151 teams that are interested in the competition. All right, uh, so forming a team. So this is really important. Um, when you're forming your team, this is your time to get the word out about your team. And it's really instrumental in expanding your reach to potential new members as well as supporters. You wanna make sure that you emphasize your team's goals for competing and what has inspired you as well as any organizations or affiliations that you're associated with. This will help say someone is um, associated with the same organization or affiliation as you. You can go in and you can find them that way um, and join their team if you're interested. Um, it's also really important when you're filling out your profile, there's a section that's called about. That's where you wanna put the most information. Um, if you're a team and you're looking for individuals or you're an individual looking to join a team, that's where you're gonna put the information and present yourself. Um, also at this step, you wanna make sure that you identify what type of support you need, um, whether it's additional team members or other resources. Once you've created a team, there's a function in POP called skills needed. So this is really great. Say you're a team um, that has a background in engineering or robotics, AI, but you're really looking for team members to join you that are in the field of biology, conservation, ecology, you can put in there that you're looking for people with that background. That way when someone who say is an individual who is a biologist and they're looking to join a team, for those people that have the technology background, they can actually go in there, search by their expertise and see what kind of teams are looking for that. And just one more thing um, is this data question. So there's actually a question when you go to register and pop asking you what type of data do you expect to need to be successful in this competition? So that's gonna be really important for us here at XPRIZE. If we see a lot of trends of people needing the same type of data that they think would help them be more successful in the competition, then we as XPRIZE can do our best to get that data to you. All right, um, so just a couple things coming up. We do have our team pitch, uh, team pitch webinar. Right now it is scheduled for August of this year. Um, during the P uh, team pitch webinar, this is when you have the opportunity to introduce yourself and present your approaches to the competition. It's really intended to encourage collaboration between competitors with complementary skill sets. So just another way, um, if you're a team or you're an individual and you're looking to match make and combine teams, this is a way to do that. And uh, we'll have more information on that to come as well. Uh, the next thing is going to be our team summit. So we do hope to have this event in person. Uh, right now it's scheduled for April of next year. We do know that things are uncertain in the world right now. So we'll definitely take that into consideration and might have to move this event to virtual um, if needed, but we'll definitely have more information on that to come. So it is open to registered teams only. Um, this is where you'll receive the latest prize updates as well as next steps in the competition. It'll also give you the opportunity, once again, to network with other teams. And you'll also be able to meet competition organizers as well as competition partners one-on-one. -on -one. And we'll have more information on this as a later date, but it is scheduled for April, so it's right after registration closes in March, but before your qualified submission is due. So just another chance to get a little bit more information before that. 
All right, so the competitor agreement, I touched on this. This is step three of um, the team registration process, making you eligible to compete in the competition. So this is an agreement between the XPRIZE Foundation and the team, and you must continuously meet the requirements of this agreement through the life of the prize to be eligible to win the prize purse. We do have a preliminary version available of the competitor's agreement. Right now it is on POP under the resources tab. You can also find it on the Rainforest XPRIZE website under the guidelines tab as well. So that you guys have that available now to take a look, um, get an idea of what it requires. And then we will have a final version that one member from each team must sign in order to compete in the competition. And we hope to have that available for you guys on POP as well uh, very shortly. So this agreement must be signed by March 15th of 2021. That's the date of the end of registration. And I just wanna stress this point that we cannot review any team's qualifying submission without a signed competitor agreement. All right, thank you guys. And with that, I wanna pass it on to Peter, our tech lead to talk about that qualifying submission. All right, back. Thank you, Allison. So moving forward in terms of what happens after you register, um, teams will compete in a, uh, have to complete a qualifying submission that outlines their design concepts and plans for the competition, including an executive summary outlining the team's approach to the competition and information on how the team will use biodiversity data collected. The judging panel will review the qualifying submissions to select up to 50 qualified teams to advance in the competition. And these are some key dates to keep in mind here of the May 13th, 2021. Just to recap these first few steps in the timeline um, over the upcoming year, re registration will be open until March, followed by the qualifying submission from which up to 50 qualified teams will be announced to advance in the competition. Following that, we will move into the semifinals and the finals. Teams will complete a semifinal submission that outlines their design concepts and plans for the competition. This will also include a demo verification aspect to be conducted virtually, most likely in the form of a video. The semifinal submission deadline will be in quarter two of 2022. Based on this semifinal submission, up to 25 semifinalist teams will be selected and announced quarter three, 2022. Semifinalist teams will split a prize purse of $250,000. Um, and after that, semifinal testing will take place. Teams will have until quarter one, 2023, to refine their solutions ahead of the semifinals and an in-person testing event with XPRIZE and the judging panel will take place. After semifinals testing, finalist teams will split a prize purse of $2 million. Just to revisit our prize timeline, you can see that teams will have nearly one year to refine their solutions following the semifinal submissions in preparation for the semifinals testing in the field in an actual rainforest. Um, the first round of testing that will be done in this in these conditions. Um, and that will truly put everything to the test. Moving on to the finals, after the completion of the semifinals, the judging panel will select up to 10 teams to compete in an in-person testing event with XPRIZE and the judging panel for the final round of the competition. The winning team will have to survey the most biodiversity in at least three stories of the rainforest, whether that's the emergent layer, the canopy, understory, and forest floor, and in eight hours instead of the six hours previously, and use those data to produce the greatest number of new insights after 48 hours that will reveal the true potential of the standing forest because of its biodiversity. Following the finals testing, XPRIZE will host an award ceremony to announce the top three places for the Rainforest XPRIZE as well as the potential for a bonus prize at the discretion of the judging panel. And here you can see the breakdown of those uh, grand prizes once again. One important thing for all of us is that after, the, after awarding the winners, 
this will only be the beginning of yet another exciting stage for the Rainforest X Prize. The Rainforest X Prize is the first X Prize competition to incorporate a scaling impact phase into the prize timeline. In conjunction with our operations team that you see here today, we have an X Prize impact team on board to work with teams on this critical element. Together, we will be working with you, our teams, and partnering with conservation organizations, agencies, NGOs, local communities, universities, and partners throughout the world to maximize the impact from the competition, to ensure that successful solutions and insights are effectively implemented and applied across local, regional, and global levels, leading to increased preservation of rainforests worldwide. And on that note of scaling impact beyond the competition, I'm gonna hand it back to David about looking ahead. Awesome, okay. All right, thank you, Peter. And uh, thank you to the full team for this presentation. Wow, we're exactly 1045, so, so we're right on time. <laughs> Kudos for that. Um, yeah, I just wanna highlight quickly, and we've touched on a lot of this today, but just some of the, some of the near term priorities that, that we're looking at as an operations team. And, and then we'll go ahead and to jump into the Q&A. And I wanna thank everybody for their submissions in the, in the Q&A so far. Um, there's some really great questions in there. Some we might not be prepared to answer today, but we're gonna get, as, get to uh, as many as we can. In case you haven't already and you do have a burning question, please feel free to go ahead and throw it into the Q&A. We're prepping, it at, uh, prepping the questions on, on, a, on a shared document behind the scenes here that we're gonna dive to. Uh, dive into shortly. So uh, real quick, just some of the near-term priorities. As we mentioned, we are currently uh, um, uh, recruiting our advisory uh, and, and judging board. Uh, of course, we're open to any recommendations that, that any of you have on this, but this is a critical component of the competition. Uh, this is an impartial group. They're not tied to X Prize. They all come from different organizations and backgrounds to help us uh, pull this competition together. So um, uh, we've made a lot of headway on this, at least in the advisory, uh, informing our advisory board. And again, we're gonna have some really exciting announcements about this in the very near future. Um, okay, uh, conferences and workshops. So uh, many of you have probably seen, we've been pretty active uh, in competition, excuse me, uh, conferences and webinars that have been taking place over the last several weeks, weeks since, uh, since COVID uh, pandemic has hit us all. And, um, you know, obviously we want to be out there as much as we can, but just can't be during this time. So we are participating in these, in these webinars. We're going to continue to do so and hope to re return to conferences as soon as the, the world reopens for, to, for regular business, whenever that might be. Uh, but we are looking forward to it. And we want to conduct workshops where we can engage the community in helping draft and think about this work that we're gonna be, be doing in order to achieve the goals of the competition. So uh, it's not just us, it's our advisories, it's our judges, it's the community helping us think about, are we doing things the, the right way uh, and how are we gonna reach our goals? Uh, the qualifying submission template that Peter talked about, uh, we are going to be drafting that and sharing the template a bit just so the teams are gonna know uh, what's due from them in May of, of 2021. This really isn't an overly complicated process. It's gonna be you know, a series of questions just for us to understand what your approach to the competition is gonna be, uh, who your team is comprised of, who's on your teams, what are your, what, what are, what are your specialities, et cetera. Uh, and then of course, and this is gonna be a really heavy load for the team, we're gonna be creating our rules and regulations. So this is the detailed rule set that outline the testing protocols, the specification, and the judging criteria for both semifinals and finals testing. So uh, we know teams are definitely gonna to wanna to see that. I've seen a lot of really great technical questions come in today into the Q&A session and be perfectly honest, a lot of us might wait and are gonna to wait to answer some of those questions until we're ready to put the rules and regulations out in the world. I think that, you know, that rule set is really gonna help answer some of these questions, but we need time to define it on our end. So just seeing your questions come through are going to help us think that, uh, think about, uh, you know, try to find, try to implement those concerns and those questions into our, our rule set. So uh, look out for that. Uh, and lastly, and this is critical, uh, critical, we are researching and recruiting teams from around the world to tackle this challenge. So please, 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 uh, if you are part of or you know of a, a potential team, please let us know. 
uh, you know, we know that we can't uh, look under every rock or every nook and cranny to find the competitors that are going to take this challenge on. So uh, if you have anybody that you'd like to re recommend, please let us know. We'll reach out to them. And, you know, really, we're going to come up uh, with as many, you know, we're going to have more solutions based on the number of teams that we have in the competition. So it, it's always our, our priority to try to get as many qualified teams involved and, and help us try to tackle uh, this competition with, with unique approaches. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and move into the uh, webinar Q&A. Once again, thank you everybody for submitting um, the questions that you have so far. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a shot at some of the early questions that came in here, and then um, I'll turn things over to other members of the team that can, um, that, that, that can help us out. So um, one of the questions that I see here is, will there be additional support apart from video resources available to folks who register? Um, so yes, absolutely. Uh, what I think XPRIZE does really well is we, we look at and we find different uh, organizations or companies that we can partner with. And the idea behind that is that they can offer some sort of uh, support or collaboration with our teams and with our operations team behind the scenes. So uh, we have already begun talks uh, with some really exciting organizations. And I think we're gonna have some really cool technologies that we're gonna be able to offer the teams to try to help tackle this challenge. So um, we'll definitely be making some announcements on that in the very, uh, uh, very near future. I don't want to leak any of those names now just because things aren't finalized, but they will be shortly. And um, teams who register early will have the earliest crack at beginning to work with those, those organizations. So please be on the lookout for that. Um, good question here about uh, the judges. So the question is, will there be different judges for different rounds of, of testing or for the competition? What will the time commitment be from, from judges? Do they have to onboard? Do they have until uh, the end of the competition? So uh, look at uh, the judging panel comes together in many different ways. And I suspect that it will grow and evolve over the, the four or the four to five years of this competition. Uh, you know, it's, it's completely conceivable that we'll bring on an initial round to help us on the operation side, help devise the rules and regulations that will govern the competition. And there'll be others who specifically, excuse me, just want to come on for the testing parts of the competition and actually be out there in the field uh, with us. So, uh, you know, the, the time commitment really varies just based on what part you come in, what your schedule dictates, uh, and, and what stage of the competition, uh, you know, is that, that we're in at that time. So um, it'll definitely be a, uh, a, an evolving group of individuals, but, uh, you know, we're really excited about that. And, you know, for this competition, you know, we're looking for, for judges to come with, with a wide range of specialities, and that could include uh, ecology, data science, biology, uh, mapping, physics, engineering, AI, drones and robotics. There's so many emerging technologies that I think we're looking at for this competition that need to come together to either be integrated or reviewed by someone who understands those individual technologies well. And so we'll be making sure that we, that we gather the right experts from the field to go ahead and, and help support us with that. So um, stay tuned for that. Um, let's see here. Um, Peter, I've got a good question here. For you, uh, how does the X Prize define a rainforest uh, for purposes of this competition? Uh, what characteristics can we expect it to have? Yeah, this pop, this question has popped up quite a few times. Um, it's focused on tropical rainforests, and so and the other thing that's important to note is that um, to reiterate, we'll be selecting the actual uh, locations for teams to do the testing. Um, so I know at different points, a few people have asked if they can do the testing in some of their own locations. Um, there'll be one location most likely for the testing to take place. Um, yeah. Great. Thank you, Peter. Um, we also received a question, is XPRIZE partnering, partnering uh, with any organiza organizations to fund this prize, which is a great question. And I'd just like to say that, you know, we have several partners who, who we are and will be working with on the competition to support our work. And we are extremely grateful 
uh, to the support of the Alana Foundation, who came with us from the onset of this prize to conceive of it and develop it and launch it into the world. So, so thank you to the Alana Foundation. And um, just to note that, that we are open to and encouraging other partners who want to get involved to, to step in and we can have, have, those, have those discussions. Okay, uh, another question here on the technical side that I'll, I'll punt over to Peter. Peter, uh, will the rules and regulations uh, document contain a breakdown of how the different aspects of the competition are graded and weighed? Uh, I see your biodiversity assessment versus insights versus local uh, and indigenous involvement, et cetera. Yes, um, that's the short answer to that question. All, all of these more detailed aspects, um, and I know there were a few questions about insights as well. Um, the biodiversity aspect to many seems pretty straightforward and objective and to we're still working on this insights and we're also leaving it um, somewhat open in terms of direction to allow teams the creativity to come up with their own insights, perhaps with uh, their own connections or however you might see those data being most uh, utilized or impactful on different levels. So that will all be made uh, much more clear in those rules and regulations for sure. Great, thank you for that. Um, I also see another question here. Uh, will there be an outline of types of insights and how impact will be determined? The biodiversity assessment is very well defined, but the insights are still quite ambiguous and can be subjective based on the judge's background. Yep, same, same as previous answer. Okay. Um, the rules and regulations will definitely cover this. And yeah, just as I said, the, we're cognizant of the difference in terms of how these testing and judging criteria um, are and and um, as we also establish our judging panel we'll be working with them on establishing how these will be assessed great okay um i've got two uh operational questions here that i'm going to share with with allison uh the first is does the pop platform offer a way to communicate with prospective team members who request to join a given team before accept accepting them yeah Great question. Um, so we are using the POP platform as kind of this matchmaking tool. And this is one of the features that we're working on updating right now. Um, so I expect to have that updated hopefully within the next week or so. Um, whenever you're creating your team profile, you wanna make sure you click on the option that says accepting new team members. And then the new feature as an individual, if I go in and I see a team that's accepting new team members and I'm able to request, I'll have that option to give a little bit more information about myself as well as a link to my profile on POP. That way the individual or the team that I'm applying to can see a little bit more information and then respond to me whether they'd like to have um, on the team or not. Yeah, thank you. And, and to that end, we had received another question that I think I just answered sort of in here within the Q&A doc, but I'll go ahead and just talk about it now while we talk about registration. That question was, uh, may I register my team now, but still add additional team members after the close of registration? And my response to that was absolutely uh, additional team members can be added to a team at, at any time. So, um, you know, it, it, we do ask that you inform us and let us know and keep us up to date as you build and grow your team, but absolutely. And one other thing that's important to note that I, I don't think I saw come up, but it does come up in a lot of competitions is whether or not uh, teams uh, can merge together. And yes, absolutely. Uh, we encourage it. We recommend it. Uh, again, you know, this, this prize is really going to require the convergence of a number of, of different technologies and uh, may very well push you and require you to, to merge and to uh, collaborate with other teams that are in the competition. So, uh, you know, the team pitch webinar, the team summit that we'll be holding later down the line, these things are all being done to help you understand who your fellow competitors are and who you might have the opportunity to engage with as we move forward. So, so please keep that in mind. Um, and speaking about the Team Summit, we did receive a question about whether the Team Summit would be physical or virtual, and that's a great question. Personally, I would love to say it's going to be physical. I just don't think we're ready to, to answer that yet. Um, 
you know, of course, if it can't be, then yes, we will hold, hold a virtual team summit. It's not the first time that we've done it. Uh, in fact, we've had to do a few for other competitions during these uncertain times, but uh, I would really love to be able to get, uh, you know, this community together. Uh, one other thing that I'll say is that um, we, of course, we don't have a location set for that yet, but something that I would like to do and something that we always try to do is attach that team summit maybe to a, rele uh, to a relevant event that's taking place within the industry. Uh, the assumption there is that many of you will already be attending that event. So it just makes, it makes sense for us to get together for a day or two and really give the teams an opportunity to meet us on the operations side, but again, to meet one another and see if we can find those, those avenues for, for collaboration. So stay tuned for that. Um, team, any other questions in here that, that we feel comfortable going and in, in, in jumping in and providing answers to? Please, please feel free to chime in here. There are a ton of questions. This is great. Um, yeah. <laughs> trying to just scrolling through the whole list. <laughs> um, there have been a few questions or, or comments pointing about, about the um, value of local indigenous knowledge, and, and certainly that was um core and critical to our part about team composition and how teams are expected to operate in terms of um, having local counterparts in many different forms uh, being cognizant of um, as the question that i read uh, this knowledge might be defined differently from how the tech approaches that we're discussing here but certainly we want to make sure that that local knowledge is incorporated into the development of solutions so that ultimately those successful solutions come back and actually do benefit on a local and regional scale um, directly to support those individuals. So um, yes, that, that's a key element of this and uh, something that we actually made an, a requirement for teams. So. Awesome, thank you, Peter. Yeah. Okay, just going through these guys, hang tight. A lot of these questions about um, sampling methods, taking samples out, um, this will all be in those rules and regulations and it, it's going to vary um, based on taxa quite a bit um, or based on general groups because uh, because there are, as we know, different methods to sample and survey. Um, so there's definitely not a one size fits all answer on that one, but we'll be uh, going into quite a bit of detail on that for the rules and regulations. Um, yeah, good question here from Aaron. Does XPRIZE provide support and resources to address some of the legal aspects of competing? It seems like competing is somewhat like running a small business. And uh, that's a great point, you know, and it's really set up that way. Our, our hope is that you will run your team like a, a small business and that you will go on even after the competition is ended to, you know, continue to work to get your product into the marketplace. So we, we do set it up in that sort of way. We do have a legal team that we work with uh, here internally at XPRIZE and at some point in the competition, closer to the close of registration or at the close of registration, uh, where it's very likely that we'll, we'll host a webinar uh, with our legal team to, to get up and talk a little bit more about the competition agreement that we had mentioned earlier and just you know, point out some of the basic stuff that teams should be thinking about as well. And we'll also do that with our marketing team. Uh, one of the things that I, you know, over my 12 years plus here at, at XPRIZE, uh, you know, one of the strongest tools that I think teams have access to is, is one, sort of our marketing power, what we'll put behind the teams and the competition, but also your ability to get out in the world and market yourselves and market your product and market your solution. And that's a really great way to get to get up and running, uh, you know. And again, to support this 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 team, which is run like a small business. So I will definitely be looking to do some webinars there, um, but I can't promise any specific, uh, you know, items or things that we'll be able to offer the teams in, in, in that regard. Okay. Guys, any questions? Anyone feel comfortable jumping in at any of these? 
Yep. Um, oh gosh, I just lost that one. <laughs> so many. So many. I am getting them on many different fronts. Um, oh, there was a question about teams being rewarded in an extra way. Are discretionary points given for going like above and beyond? And that's where we do actually have a bonus prize. And so there's the breakdown of the specific first, second, third place, and then there'll, there'll be a bonus prize that's at the judge's discretion. Um, so, yes. Okay. Awesome, Peter, thank you. Well, listen, I, I actually just noticed that we're at 11.04, so we are, we are uh, beyond our, our time here. And, um, you know, I just wanna say that, you know, although we weren't able to get to all these questions today, uh, some of it is timing and some of it is simply because we don't know yet. And uh, I think we're going to have a much better idea once we get the uh, rules and regulations process going. So we're going to take a lot of this feedback that we received today and we're going to think about that as we begin to put that, that document together. Uh, and I also want to have other opportunities in webinar to discuss some of this stuff with, with this community. So. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of today's webinar, this is just the first of what we hope to be a series. Uh, this is really just an opportunity to introduce the prize and where we intend to go. So at this point, I would like to just recommend that people head to the website, that they consider registering a team. Uh, again, you don't even need, necessarily need to be a team. You can just be an individual and you can start to you know, recruit additional team members uh, onto your team. Um, and uh, just know that we are going to be working behind the scenes to get these rules and regulations together to get you more specific details on the competition. And uh, as always, if you have additional questions, you can reach us at rainforest at xprize.org. So rainforest at xprize.org. Reminder that we recorded today's webinar. We're going to share it after the fact. And we'll also do our best to put together a, um, an FAQ uh, or, or an answer, a Q&A document that has answers to a lot of these questions today. And once again, I just want to thank everybody for showing up. I know we have individuals from all over the world, different time zones, people in their mornings, afternoons, and, and evenings. Um, and I want to thank you all for showing up, supporting this prize, and, and, and getting um, being a part of it early on. It's going to be a really exciting competition and an exciting road. And uh, I want to thank you all, and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.